All right, folks, we are back. It's another Starbase summary. You know the drill, January 7th through the 10th. My name's John. If you see me down in the comments, maybe calling myself DOS, don't ask. But we're going to start off with some Gigabay construction. Been happening for quite a while as this thing grows out of the ground. The steel jungle gym. I didn't have to walk up and down those stairs, but I guess I'm glad that those stairs are there. It's better than some other ways to get to the top. Like riding a crane or climbing a ladder or I guess a lift wouldn't be too bad, just slow. In any event, you can see almost all the way through the background. Doors closed. Little miniature steel workers up there. You know what I would like to know? How many how many bolts or rivets or whatever those things are? Actually, I need to zoom in. I want them to be rivets, but I bet you they're not. Um, I just have, like, shipbuilding on the brain, I guess. But I, I wonder. I wonder if there's an inventory of how many bolts that actually takes. In any event, we moved the camera down the road a little bit, and we got the stand rolling out here. This is a landing tank stand where they work on those landing tanks. Good to get some shots. Looks like Caesar snagged it as well. But uh, one of those bits of fixturing I don't know if you call it a fixture jig they can transport it they can lean it up against that while they work it it holds it in the right position to grab it and put it in the ships or whatever there's ship 39 in the mega bay we talked about last time all of the scaffolding that was added around looked like there was some massive work to be done on the tiles have seen quite a few bits of uh, information guesses speculation on what be what may be going on there but it looked like they were drilling some holes in a lot of those tiles if I'm not mistaken, or at least marking them in some way. There's a test tank. Interestingly, on the top of this test tank, we've seen out at Rocket Lab Middle River, thanks to Pat O, who's been driving by uh, recently, that little valve sort of structure on the top of the test tank. SpaceX, not the only company doing that. So if you've missed out on some of that over on social, make sure you follow the main account at NASA Spaceflight on X and all of our other social places, because we've been putting out some cool shots not just from starbase other rocket companies have test tanks too as it turns out say that 10 times fast in any event this thing here scooting along you can see some cones do you see the cones with the work we actually relocated uh the camera that is out there right across from the gigabay because they were doing a bunch of work in that area so we scooted up the road that's where we get the new shots of the mural and stuff like that but uh here, rolling down the road. Now, this, of course, is, is not down the road. This is sort of back into the site. Hey, what does this say? Return to SpaceX? See, was that Return to Space? Or was that Return to SpaceX? Because it wasn't SpaceX. Like, the logo wasn't behind it, like the word SpaceX. It was Return to Space X. Anyways, it's all that scaffolding again. And then the uh, spreader in the front to pick up that tank or structure. Two circular structures delivered. Well, that's interesting. It's got like little semicircles. That one had semicircles. This one doesn't have semicircles. And those are some big pivot point looking things on the side there. Now, I'm not cheating. I haven't looked at these or gotten any analysis of what these things are, but I see massive steel plates. And then that cone shape is interesting. And then that other one had those little uh, the little semicircles cut out of the edge. But look at the... The only thing that's getting me is those pivot points seem to be on an angle to each other. Like, that whole thing didn't look like it was going to pivot. Huh. Yeah, it's a methane header tank transfer tomb. Does <laughs> it say position so we could see it? This is looking into the star factory there, sort of leaning up against the side. I want to go back to those circular structures. I'm really curious where we're going to see those end up. I've seen some discussion about this as well. Cutouts to the nose cone. Are they going to be adding new equipment, hardware? Is that just for temporary access, or what's going on? Why does that nose cone have holes in it? Doesn't really look like a window? Question mark? You know how my voice goes up at the end of that statement? There's the chopsticks moving around on pad two. Just sort of... So we're sort of swinging them into position. Remember, last video we saw the ship QD arm on pad to be completely, I say completely assembled. I mean, most of the large components for the ship QD arm being assembled together. So here we're getting a little built of a tilt tour from the pad and the chopsticks down below. And then there is that ship QD arm and the, I guess, extension forearm, whatever you want to call it. On the ship QD, it still has the crane slung on it, which is interesting. 
But you can see those lines are definitely slack. So are they just testing things out? Is that for safety purposes? I mean, you think that guy is on there walking around. I'd, I'd be pretty sure that thing was bolted in all the way, but, you know, I, I'm not in charge. Huh. This is one of those, it's like the little thing you board a cruise ship with, right? Or a little boat. Not really a cruise ship, I guess. A little thing that goes down a little walkway, moves out. Hey, maybe he's actually going to remove those live in the video. Well, I guess recorded in the video, whatever. We catch it from another angle here, a little bit different lighting with that gray sky. I mean, it's pretty clear those lines are slack, so I'm I'm super curious why you leave the crane attached to it. Maybe there's some testing or validation or something that needs to happen. We saw this uh, over on SBL quite a bit, the arm hoods. I think there's something like 20-something. Those little hoods, not the big ones that go over the big uh, booster cuties, the locks of the methane booster cuties down there, but these are the little ones that go around the inside to protect, I guess, these hold down clamps, hold up clamps. I don't know. I, I argue sometimes about exactly what those things should be called, but... Got a little bit of a sunset action here from Caesar. It's always nice. It's tough to see the details there. Like, you do get the silhouette of the tower and the, the chopsticks sort of hidden there, but it's a little tough to see. Where are we at here? This, is, uh, this looks all messy, so I'm going to guess this is pad one, right? And we're chopping parts off of, I guess, the pad one tower. Yeah, look how busted pad one looks. I mean, it's had launches happen, multiple launches that have just torn up that cladding on the side of it, and it looks like it, versus the relatively so fresh and so clean Pad 2 that has not been subjected to the fury of a Starship launch yet. It's the old QD. I need like a side-by-side -side of the QD arms, right? The ship QD arms. Oh, look at this. So that's Pad 2 in the background. You can see it's nice and clean. Work on an electrical bunker. These are all sorts of coolers in the back here. And we've got one of those little service doors open. Nice cable management. Excellent. <laughs> a lot of little wires going through. The hey, we've got some stuff. That little conduit stuff where you can put the wires in and then you put a little cap on it to, to close it. We got that at some of our sites. Gee, SpaceX is copying this. Seriously? <laughs> Clearly, I'm kidding before some electrician down in the comments says, well, actually, we use that on a blah, blah, blah. Like, yes, I know. Come on. What do we have there? A little bit of wind blockage, I guess. They're probably just doing final checkouts and stuff on all of that. <laughs> the mega bunker. There's a new low wall in front of the mega bunker. What is that? So that a, like a vehicle can't crash into that and cause problems with the mega bunker? Or something. I wonder how they added that after the fact. Like, oh, we need to reinforce that like it's a government building. It looks like a government building. It's like that concrete brutalism like you've got, I don't know, a public building in Boston or something. Y'all know what I'm talking about? ASU. So look at across the street here. If you're looking at that bunker and you sort of turn to your left across the street, this is, I guess it's not the exact same angle, but that's where we're, it is, where we're looking at here, right? We're picking up a little fast-moving flange adapter standoff something there. It's got some lightly effective plastic wrap on it. <laughs> in any event, I love those huge turbos in the background. What are we doing there? We're like, we're booping it with the bottom of that skid steer forks. Telehandler forks. Oh, what is this? Work along Massey's Way. They've done a trench down the center of the road. Huh. Now, I see, the road to Massey's is paved with explosions. That's, that doesn't make any sense. The road to Massey's, Massey's isn't paved. It's a caliche road, like that white, chalky sort of rock we've got in South Texas. And it's not that difficult to dig up, I guess. So you see that big trench that's been dug all the way up there, and you're like, oh, my God, Massey's closed for like two months or something. Uh, not really. In fact, there goes a COPV. Da -da 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 -da. That looks like a way better place or a way better method to carry COPVs around than uh, to lay them on their sides on scaffolding. In any event, I, I think that road is already cleared up. I think some of our folks have driven by and said that that trench has already been filled back in so you can see stuff going out to Massey's. It's not like they closed access to Massey's for two months or something. It's got some B18.1 tests here, the 13th and 14th time. Clearly not testing that one to destruction yet. Let's add the yet in there. And you've got Caesar getting some uh, 
shots of the venting there. What, is it? what do y'all want to say? That's three quarters of the way up the stack. So here we've got that ship skirt section. Remember where we made that uh, sort of pancake hamburger setup? It's not really a hot dog. You don't add things to the ends of hot dogs. You add things on top of hamburgers. But in any event, we were sort of wondering if this was a, a more complete integration testing where something about the testing of the structure needed the ship to be attached to it, needed the other parts attached. Like It needed to live, be a little bit more integrated where maybe forces would move around a little bit differently if the ship was actually on top of those hot staging ring struts, right? And so adding in a false bottom of a ship and uh, that cap to sort of help move some forces around, that might be what they were doing there. Looks like we're going to end it on the mystery gantry structure. There is a little plate, sort of quick dis... Not a quick disconnect, but some sort of plate up there at the top and some plumbing that might be going to it, it looks like. But we'll see how that shapes up. As always, remember, you can watch in a couple different languages, at least one. Change the settings. Appreciate y'all watching, and we will see you nerds later.